hi these are uh, whatsapp group and uh, the blog link and whatsapp link i'll just give in the description if you want you can join and these are uh, facebook group so in this tutorial i'm going to give an explanation on uh, the nrc 13 that is incorrect message length or invalid format so what is uh, incorrect message or invalid format literally means if the tester has given a pci length as invalid or which is not matching with the mentioned byte value then ec will give this response as nrc 13 uh, before that i'll just uh, see this is a positive response first you just look on the positive response as you are very much familiar with diagnostic session control so i gave this as a um, positive response here the request is um, 0, 0 2 10 and 1 so 0 2 is nothing but the pci length pci length still many have a confusion on what is pci length so just make it clear pci length is nothing but what are the bytes you are using here and here two bytes of data you are using so the two has been coming here as a pci length so that is pci means to representation of what is the byte value that is called pci length there is a protocol information then for this request you are getting the response as again 0 2 because you are again in the response also ec using only two bytes of data 50 and 0 1 so this is a positive response and in negative response what you'll get before going to the negative response you just know the format of the negative response because in the previous tutorial i just messed up the format but just uh, here you just understand what is the format of the negative response see this is the exact format of the negative response so first pci length will come into the picture first then 7f that is negative response then service id what are the service id you are sending the same service id you are getting because as it is a negative response the 40 plus will not add it up then nrc negative response code the specific nrc will be come so this is the structure of structure of format of the negative response code so now we will look upon the um negative response code 13 okay so for 13 what how you will get see again see here uh, here the each tester uses only two bytes of data that is 10 and 1 but what we are using we are giving 0 6 so we are trying to give the wrong input that is instead of giving 2 if you are giving 6 then ec will identify this error and it will give the response as see here ec uses three bytes of data 7 of 10 and 13 so it will response and it will identifies as a negative response in my next tutorial i'll give a detailed explanation on primary and secondary bootloader so what are the advantages or disadvantages if the primary or secondary bootloader is present or not present so share to your friends and subscribe for more updates bye bye catch you in next video